How's it going, guys? It's Chocolate Chocobo, and I am back. I'm playing some Team Fortress 2. I decided to hop on and record something on here because I was thinking about what I wanted to do for another game that wasn't COD, but, you know, it was still first-person shootery, and I kind of was like, you know what? I think Team Fortress 2 could be a bit of fun. Um, I tried to record a couple already, but I was just like, oh, these aren't fun, and, like, ugh, I'm, I don't know. Hopefully this one will go better. We'll see. Uh, but... Ooh, seconds. mission begins in 10 seconds. I got right in. No, 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 no. I don't know. I'll join red. Four, uh, I don't know what three, I'm doing. Scout? Two, question mark? I don't know. One. All right. Oh, man. I am behind the times. I am really far behind the times. I don't even know where the heck I'm going. Am I going this way? I'm going this way. All right. So, um, I think the format of all these, of this as a series, I guess, is going to be to do it as a, the let's talk, like I was saying. Ooh. Oh. Make it over the hill. Yeah, we did it. Wow, why are we going so ham and cheese up in here? Real, what is going on? Where's our payload at? Oh, we're defending. Lol, I'm an idiot. Alright, so, um, basically, I thought I would just talk about stuff that, you know, either I talked about last time or talk about a new topic or a blend of both, which is what I'll be doing today. Um, and the first part of this is going to be talking about like instruments and stuff like that And then the second part is going to be talking about sports because that was a question that was asked in the comment section um, But basically A lot of people were asking like you know Chocobo what, what kind of instrument did you play and all that stuff And I didn't I didn't mean to say like oh you know I was a band nerd like in a bad way I actually love marching band and I love playing it and it was just, it was a lot of fun And I'm going to play it I'm going to play an engineer. I'm just going to put a sentry gun and just camp the heck out of them. But uh, basically, what ended up happening was I've learned a lot of instruments over the years, and um, what and so like I, I started off with like really random stuff that my parents would want me to get into, um, and my mom to this day is still pretty uh, pretty salty that I didn't continue some of them. Let's say one of which being the ever elusive. Um, violin which I I couldn't ever seem to get into it <laughs> despite her best efforts I never really got into it which you know it's yeah <laughs> I don't know I never understood the appeal of violin it just it didn't really sound that great to me as a solo instrument and an orchestra it's a very different story I think that the violin sounds absolutely gorgeous on in like an actual uh, orchestra and stuff but Solo, it can be, it can sound good, but literally the amount of time it takes for you to sound even remotely decent is quite a while. So, eh, you know, not my, not my favorite thing in the world. But um, so I learned, I learned how to play that first. But I, I have no idea how to do it now. Like, even if you asked me to play, Mary had a little lamb, I wouldn't be able to do that for you. Um, but instead, what I did it end up uh, picking up very seriously for the first time after a number of like other things I just kind of tried to learn. Um, one of them was the trumpet, and I learned the trumpet like I spent a lot of time learning the trumpet, and it was kind of the first thing I committed to. I learned it originally because of a friend, um, and this was back when I was living outside the states, and so I was just I was really really into um, this instrument just because of the fact that you know a lot of my friends played it, and then lo and behold, one of my neighbors when I moved to the states was a big trumpet player, and so I was really into trumpet. And it was awesome. I mean, I had a ton of fun, like an absolute blast. Oh no, they're sapping my teleporter. Oh crap. Yeah, darn it. All right, well, whatever. I want to put. I want to put it here anyways. So, yeah, even though I should never put all my eggs in one basket. But yeah, so um, I I did. I ended up playing like a fair bit of. Uh, trumpet. When I moved to the States, I continued to play trumpet, which was an absolute blast. Uh, <laughs> and I reached, I kind of reached this point where I was like, you know what, I, I kind of want to continue. And um, Urquin, if you guys, you guys might have seen him on some streams, if you've ever been on the stream, you guys might have heard me talking about him in other places, but um, he's kind of my, he's the equivalent of a childhood friend. Uh, in the States, he was the very first friend I ever made. And I was, I, I was I was a really goofy kid, <laughs> to say the least. Like a really goofy kid. Oh, oh I crit him. Got him. All right. Well, technically, teammate got him, but I got most of it. Oh, man, we just dominated these guys. All right. So, anyways, and he was a doodles. 
Ow. Jerks. What? Oh. Holy smack rolls. That guy just went. Alright, Scotsman. Yeah, that's what I thought. Anyways. <laughs> um, yeah, so Urquin, he was really into instruments. And then he also kind of led the way in a lot of the things regarding the trumpet. And so while I lived in where I was at, um, kind of like my hometown, I guess, I played a lot um, of trumpet, and then I went to marching band and all that stuff, and that's how that happened. But then afterwards, I got sent off to boarding school, shipped away. My parents were like, we can, we can send you away into some place where we don't have to deal with you? That's amazing. No, that's just kidding. They love me, I think. Um, <laughs> but they are... Uh, <laughs> They're quite interesting people, my parents. Different topic for a much different day. Uh, but anyways, I ended up doing marching band for the year I was here. But then afterwards, I moved, and I still continued to play trumpet. And they had this uh, brass ensemble, which was a good deal of fun as well. But, you know, it wasn't. It definitely wasn't for everybody. And uh, but I, I continued playing it, and I actually thrived in it. And it was it was definitely a weirder thing because there was a like huge skill gap because the uh, director one of the coolest and Mission most loved seven. people in my life uh, he passed away uh, darn shame dude was amazing I mean he was just he was a oh he was such a cool guy anyways he was a really cool guy um, and he, basically he let like everyone in to the actual ensemble. And that led into this really bizarre bit of um, nonsense where we had some really varied skill levels. And so what ended up happening was the, the kind of agreement that was had was this. Um, we, didn't take it, we didn't take ourselves too seriously in terms of uh, like the skill level of the ensemble. But in exchange, you can test out different instruments. Um, and so, like, for me, I was really into this group, right? So, like, I got seriously, like, down and dirty with, like, the whole trying out everything I could. Because he had, like, a ton of instruments. It wasn't, like, bring your own instrument. He provided instruments for you. Because he was, like, he was a ludicrously smart dude who also happened to be, like, some form of, like, royalty or something. He was, like, a marquee or a baron. Or, I don't remember. He was, he was some ludicrously, like powerful dude in France or something crazy guy um, but anyways he was an absolutely amazing person and while we kind of were going through instruments I picked up the trombone uh, tuba and these are this is okay I'm gonna list them in like hold on I'm not all right so tuba and trombone I was really not great at I never learned the trombone positions and tuba was really just weird the armature sat weird with me because I was a trumpet player um, but I learned French horn and I really enjoyed it. I actually got to do a solo performance in the chapel, which was a ton of fun. I got to play Yesu, uh, Man, Joy of Man, something or another. But really, really cool. Oh God! All right, I'm, I'm Ubering you, friend. All right, that was awkward. I am so sorry, Heavy. I did not guard you well. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, oh my god. Okay, well, I just got wrecked. So yeah, ended up picking the French horn up. Um, I, I even practiced and played a little bit of trombone. Or not trombone. Um, I played trombone. No, I played a little bit of uh, bagpipes, which was really cool. And I lear I technically learned how to play the recorder. I just, I played a lot of random stuff. And now I can kind, I, kn I kind of have an idea of how to play uh, guitar. And I do have an ocarina, like a little... Uh, Zelda Ocarina, which is awesome. I love that thing. Um, it's just so much fun. Because I just whip it out. I'm like, Boo -doo -doo, and it's just sick. I've actually done it on stream a couple times. Um, <laughs> okay, then. But a lot of fun. And uh, in general, just kind of... It was a great experience learning instruments and stuff like that. But the other half of the conversation. So someone asked in the comments uh, whether I played sports, which I'm assuming is because of the fact that I had brought up sports in the previous thing about being goal-oriented. Um, I did play sports. I played varsity football, American football, 
Um, and I, I think I should have gotten my... Uh, I, I was actually thinking about this. I think I've told people I was varsity track and field, which I guess I never really hit. I always think I did because I was so bitter about the fact that um, the coach... I, I don't want to get into it, but basically the coach was being a derp tart and denied me my varsity letter because he was being a jerk. Um, but, yeah, so I, I ended up uh, picking up a varsity letter in American football, and... It was a ton of fun. I also did a lot of theater stuff as well, so that kind of was what rounded out what I did during different seasons. Um, but yeah, it was it was a ton of absolute fun. And ooh, come on! I'm Ubered. I Ubered you. Go up. Push up. You dimwit. Push up. Oh god. All right. Well, don't blame me when you get wrecked. Oh god. Oh my! All right, whatever. Oh, I, was, I don't have the Uber saw. Dang it! Urgh. But yeah, so played those two sports. I, I also um, I, I'm actually a big sports fan. So, and I'm I'm like a Pittsburgh sports fan. So I like the Pittsburgh Penguins, Pittsburgh Steelers, um, Pittsburgh Pirates. Even though they didn't really have much success until just recently, where even then it's not that much. Ooh, it's not that much. Exp it's not that much of a success, but still a lot more than we used to have. We broke 500, so deal with it. Um, but yeah, big sports fan. And so have a varsity letter in a sport. I think I should have had two. But I also did a lot of uh, theater stuff. And so in American football, for those of you who are curious about the details of how that was, um, I actually ended up playing... I actually ended up playing a good deal of positions. I have these monstrously huge calves... Um, like, which is the muscle in the back of your leg, like, kind of, it's the lower half of your leg. Um, but I had monstrously huge calves, and I still do. And basically, I have a really, like, low center relative, um, to a lot of people. And I also have, like, this really awkwardly, uh, strong legs and good kind of explosive power, as, uh, some coaches would put it. And so... I, I had these really great qualities for playing a bunch of different positions, um, but, but more notably, because I'm also a bigger dude, I'm not like a scrawny guy, um, I ended up playing some line, I played, I even played a couple of times, I played a couple of like linebacking positions, um, which was exclusively for blitzing, which was so much fun, it is absolutely hilarious, blitzing people as a line, it's, oh, it's one of the best feelings in the world. Um, I never played wide receiver. I never really played running back, although I did do it in practice a couple times. I did play fullback in practice often because people were always like, you are just like monstrous to stop because oddly my footwork is pretty good. Um, you know, not quite like ballerina status, like LOL swag bro, but I am, I'm, I was pretty quick on my feet. I played a lot of, um, I don't know if you guys know what this is, but there is a game, well, I don't know. If you guys know Pump It Up, that's what I played a lot of. If you guys know DDR, I basically played um, Korean DDR, which is DDR with five buttons and a completely more awesome soundtrack. And so I ended up playing a lot of that, which was really, really quite um, interesting, shall we say. Oh, come on. I can heal you. I can heal you through it. Good job, buddy. But, uh, ooh, that's scary. That's really scary. No, I want to heal the soldier. Okay, I'm going to keep on healing the spy. That's weird. But anywho, um, play those positions. I ended up being mostly in line. I ended up being the guard just because the guard pulled a lot more, and I was really comfortable doing that. And I had no issue whatsoever with blocking with all my like body and kind of putting myself in harm's way at, at times. <laughs> Don't tell my mom I ever said that. Um, but, yeah, it was, it was an amazing lot of fun. And... Uh, it was, it was, I got to play a good number of positions. In track and field, I was never really into the whole, um, I never really got into the whole thing of <laughs> track, like the running part of track and field, but I did really, really enjoy, uh, the field part where I got, I did shot put, javelin, stuff like that. I, I, I was god awful at javelin, but I absolutely loved doing javelin just because of the fact that, uh, javelin was... <laughs> I don't know. I thought I was like a Spartan. 
the way I was throwing those things. Uh, but yeah, anyways, that's all for today. Um, I decided to cut it short because those things can go on forever. But if you did enjoy this, be sure to hit that like button down below. Comment kind of, you know, what you think the next topic should be, and maybe I'll hit up your question. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new and you want to see more uh, shooter content and stuff like that. Also, don't be shy about asking what kind of game to play next. Um, free to play games, obviously, there's a better chance of it compared to games that you do not know I have. If I, if you know I have a game, like if you're like, Choco, play, I don't know, play freaking Borderlands even? I guess I could do, no, nah, but Borderlands is too RPG. I don't think art, nah, I don't know. We'll see. But if you're like, Chocobo, play Titanfall. I mean, I can do that, and I have the game, but if I don't have the game, if you're like, Chocobo, play like this random shooter you've never heard of, but costs 60 bucks to pay. And, uh, I don't know about that. 60 bucks to pay? 60 bucks to play. I don't know about that. But anyways, I digress, and I am starting to rant. So I will stop the episode now, but thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.